Tips, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by to my continuing review of The Handmaid's Tale, Season 3, Episode 5, Unknown Caller. And I have to say, this is probably the most emotionally driven episode so far this season. So much betrayal from certain characters that I thought I would love again. So much anger that I felt just from these 50 minutes. And characters that I would think they would end up meeting up sometime and these confrontations they were having, I didn't realize what happened in this episode. But before I get started, I'd like to hear from you guys. Tell me in the comments below, what did you think of tonight's episode and where do you think it's going after this? And don't forget, consider clicking on that subscribe button and that bell in order to get any notifications from me for your future enjoyment. So as you guys recall, the last episode ended with the Waterfers finding out about Nicole, June's daughter, that she was with Luke in Canada. So I presume that this episode would be more about how they can come into contact with a baby in Canada. And I was right. Pretty much the entire episode is all about the Waterfords coming into contact with Luke and Nicole. But in order to see Nicole, they have to have June help them in making that happen. And with June, she is about to blow up. You can tell she's boiling how angry she is because she is told to call her husband, tell her that the Waterfords want to meet her. She can't go to see her own daughter, but she's ordered to do this and there's nothing she can do about it. But June is not the only one experiencing anger in this episode. You got Luke and Serena in that airport scene. Probably one of the most uncomfortable and most tension-filled scenes in this episode. And these are two characters I haven't met yet and Luke knew they were coming because of the phone call from June, but he did not want Mr. Waterford to come. And I don't blame him. I mean, if I was him and I knew that he pretty much raped my wife, I would not want him anywhere near me. But he agrees to have Serena and Nicole there. And you can see from him that he is angry and he has every right to be angry and you want to fight for him. And then they have shots going back to Serena and she's in tears, she's crying. And for some of us, we can sympathize with her because we know where she's coming from because she couldn't have a child. And she even says that Nicole was her miracle. And it's a very unusual scene to have between these two characters because you've seen things going on between both of them throughout the last seasons, few seasons. And with Luke, you want to side with him because he's in the right. I mean, I feel he's in the right. And I think a majority of people agree with that he's in the right because this is more or less his child even though Mr. Waterford had a part in it and what they're doing is wrong Gilead and then you have Serena that feels that she needs the daughter because it saved her life and some people would agree with that too and by the time we're done with this episode I feel that I, if I had to choose one of them it would be Luke but with all the anger that we've seen in this episode there is a bit of happiness that's sprinkled in within all of it and that is of course between Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence when June is at the house because she can't go to the airport and you have the scene with June having a conversation with Mrs. Lawrence and she is such a nice woman and she tells her about Mr. Lawrence when they were younger and they had the cassette tapes that he made for her with all this music and that's how she goes to the basement and makes that tape for her husband to tell her how she's really feeling about everything which he hears towards the end but that conversation is probably the most light-hearted sequence of this entire 50 minutes because we need a little bit of that but as we all know we've been through two seasons already every episode kind of ends on a sour note or an episode that you're just so pissed of what happened and for me this was a cliffhanger that I was just so angry about they're trying to get back Nicole again to bring her back into Gilead. They're televising this whole thing and June is told to stand behind them. She's going to she put on a new dress and she just stands there and you know Aunt Lady tells her, you know, remember your posture and she puts her head down. I'm like it's just so degrading that she has to go through that and they're pretty much telling the world that these people are fugitives, they're kidnappers, they're taking their daughter away and they want to try to reason with the Canadian government to try to get Nicole back. And it's just going to make it's going to make everything seem like it was for nothing the last few episodes. And I just, I wonder how this is going to unfold the next few episodes. And I knew something like this would kind of happen, but not in this way. And this is going back to betrayal, what I said about certain characters. Serena now, I think I don't like her again. I thought I really did like her. And even though I think this might be Mr. Waterford's doing, he might be the one influencing the whole thing because I think she was willing to let it go. I think she was kind of influenced by him, but you know, with this kind of show, you never know with certain characters, you may be thrown for a loop and it will completely surprise you. 
emotionally driven. That's what this episode was. I just love how they write each episode that way with these characters' emotions. And you don't need thrilling sequences or any action going on. What matters is the story and how these characters are reacting. And you get a lot of it in this show and every episode has been like that for me so i hope they keep the momentum going i think they will these are good writers that we got for this show and i just look forward to see as usual how this season's going to go on because we still got many more episodes to come but of course tell me in the comments below what you thought about tonight's episode i hope you enjoyed my review i hope you look forward to more of them don't forget to like if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more reviews from me you all have a great day this is ride the movie guy saying i'll see you at the movies.